So Jeff is, is in the position that we want. The elbows underneath the, the shoulder somewhat. Now, fingertips are down. So we have this great angle on the water. Okay? And, and now his lats are really stra stretched. And if you hold a swimmer in this position, if you just let them stretch in that position for a while, I really believe they're going to learn something. I think they're, they're going to learn how to relax. Um, there is the, the vasa through gravity is creating some pressure on the forearm, and that's what's stretching them forward. And I, I think the best swimmers, when we watch them, they let the water, when they enter, they let the water stretch them forward. They, fi they find a way to let the pressure of the water through that whole balancing of forces stretch them forward and really load up the lats, load up the, the abs connected to the hip and get ready for an explosive pull. So let's start to pull up a little bit. You can keep your feet on the, uh, why don't you keep your feet down so that there's not a lot of strain on your hip. Because I want to show a couple things in different positions. So what, one of the things that we, that we um, the teaching cues we use is always have your fingertips pointed down, okay? And, and we, we want this angle, from, especially from the elbow to the fingertips, to be perpendicular to the flow of the water. So the water's flowing this way. We want um, the elbow to fingertips to be as per perpendicular the whole way through. Okay? And Jeff's in a great position to this point. And, uh, and, and, and this, is, this is where some of our swimmers um, get into trouble, and, which is that they... When swimmers start thinking exclusively about the hand, then the hand starts um, really leading at this point. Okay? And, and what that does, it puts a lot of pressure on these small muscles in the rotator cuff. Um, it disengages the lats a little bit. And we've also created this angle that's, um, that's driving the swimmer down uh, when, they're, when they're actually trying to rotate up this way. And, um, and, and I think it's counterproductive. So what we ask our swimmers to do to stay strong is, is at this point, really start focusing on leading with the elbow. And it's almost, um, it, you know, it's, I hesitate to say it, but, but we want them to drop the elbow a little bit. We want them to drop it back here, because that's, it's not only strong, but look at this angle that he's got, and he's, he's keeping this angle, a tremendous amount of surface area on, on the water all the way back through what Dr. Prince yesterday des described as what should be the most propulsive part of the pole, from here to here. What's well, the most propulsive part of the pole, because we can keep that angle on the water when we're doing it right, all the way through here. But you don't have to give it up at this point. I think if, if you're continuing, and keep your elbow bent a little bit, if you're continuing to focus on keeping this angle and all the surface area in the water, okay, then it looks real different. We're not trying to push the water up. We're trying to push the water back. Okay, and, and, and this is a great tool at this point for teaching swimmers how to finish the freestyle stroke. Because what we're actually trying to do is lift the elbow at the end and keep some pressure on the forearm, keep the, the fingertips down, and, and essentially roll that pressure right off the fingertips. And it's always back. It's always back. 